So today we're going to look at some um, basic physics problems. So this is um, being able to manipulate um, large and small numbers, so big and small numbers, and just be able to use our basic knowledge of physics to be able to solve a few problems. So if we start off with the first one, um, it's known that the value of g on the moon is about one sixth of that on Earth. How high do you think you would be able to jump straight up on the surface of the moon? So you need to um, find some way of relating uh, the height that you jump with the acceleration. So you can use SUVAT equations. So if we write out SUVAT and then look at the things we've got, S is the thing we're looking for, U we don't have, V is zero because you're reaching a maximum, A is going to be a little variable that we're going to change, and t will just give it the algebraic value t. So you don't have um, u, but you've got uh, four other things because a we're going to change. We've got um, an s, a v, an a, and a t. So we've got these four variables, and then we can relate them all together using s equals v t minus half a t squared. That's an equation that you should. Um, be aware of at least and we know that v0 so that just leaves us with s equals minus half a t squared and what we want to do is define a positive direction so if someone's um, on the surface of the moon and they're jumping up then we define this to be the positive direction um, so the, the gravity of anything, whether it's on the Earth or the Moon, will be acting down. So if S is going up, then acceleration is going down. So if we use blue for the Earth, so the acceleration on Earth is just G, but it's going down up here. So give it minus G, which means this the height someone can jump on Earth is S equals half G T squared. If we look at what it looks like on the moon, we get a value of, um, <clears throat> so on the moon we'll say a equals minus g over 6. Um, and that means, because obviously, again, it's going down in the opposite direction to the distance, and that means if we use a sub it in, s equals half g over 6 t squared. So you can see that um, the acceleration on the moon is a sixth of that of what it is on Earth, which means when you're looking at um, the value of s, um, it will be six times as large on the moon because you're um, dividing by six so this thing has to be twice as large six times as large so this thing is 6s equals half g t squared half g t squared is the um is the height jumps on earth which means 6s for the moon equals S on Earth. So with the values that you, you've used, you're going to get the height of the jumps on the moon to be six times as large as that on the Earth. So if you're, even if you're not aware of SUVAT, um, you can take a bit of an educated guess with the question. You know that um, the acceleration due to gravity is something that slows you down. So it's going to make you um, jump a shorter distance so if you just use logic um, and look at the value it gives you in the question one sixth is the only value you know that there's got to be some sort of inverse relation between acceleration and the height jump so if you've um, got a sixth of the gravity then the height is likely to be multiplied by six